Hello. Today we'll be going over reports and how you can pull data uh, for all of your printing traffic uh, through Print Manager Plus's web portal. So in the interface of Print Manager Plus, you can click on reports, which is on each of the tabs uh, above here. And also there is a shortcut on your server uh, or running from your workstation. Uh, you'll be able to get into the web portal uh, via that web address. So we'll go ahead and click reports and it'll open your default web browser. In this case uh, I'm running Google Chrome. <clears throat> and the first time you open it, it takes a second to open up. Uh, here I am the uh, administrator of this account and you have basically two tabs in the web portal at the top here. I am running the premium edition, so some of these buttons like print uh, may not be in your menu items. But here we have reports and we have history, and both of these you'll be able to pull data uh, directly out of the database uh, for delivery uh, or just to view it. So we'll start with history, uh, and under this tab this is a direct link uh, or view straight into your database. Um, and here you can pull uh, your times you would like to see this data. And you can break it down by color only or black and white only printing. Uh, you can also run filters. Uh, so if you just want to see specific uh, groups or OUs, departments, printers, uh, client projects, page sizes, or even job titles. In this case, we're not going to set any filters, uh, but we also will look at here at columns, and you can basically build a data set. It's kind of an ad hoc way of exporting data uh, into a CSV file or Excel spreadsheet. And as you click on these uh, fields, they'll show up uh, in the HTML here. As you can see it building. Uh, if we make this larger here, so you'll notice that it starts adding these columns of data, which also can be sorted. Uh, and then here you can export the data immediately as a CSV or Excel. If we click Excel, it will create an Excel spreadsheet right here, down at the bottom. Uh, and if we open it up, it'll just be formatted out, uh, to, as you can see here, to the data that we just pulled. All right, so uh, you can also schedule this as well. And you can have it auto email. You can run it once, daily, weekly, monthly, to pull the data with the columns that you've selected. And you can email that to yourself as a CSV or Excel. And you can also save it uh, to a share on your network. Uh, you can also run summaries of these as well. Adding, again, adding columns how you would like these uh, summarized uh, out by printer, etc. So uh, a great way just to pull data uh, straight from the database. All right, now let's go to reporting. Uh, in our report section, there are over 100 reports. Uh, again, this is the premium edition, so you'll notice there's billing reports uh, in, in this uh, list if you're running the uh, standard edition of Print Manager Plus, uh, obviously that wouldn't be in there, or the basic edition as well. And the reports are broken down pretty much by Active Directory. So you have user reports, group reports, departments, OUs, uh, workstations, server reports, printer reports, uh, printer group reports. Here you have bandwidth, so how much bandwidth you're running uh, as far as printing over the network. Uh, there are charts and pre-made charts and graphs. Uh, savings reports. Savings reports are very specific. It's it's when you have restrictions set uh, within Print Manager Plus to delete print jobs, uh, and those get recorded to show that you actually saved money by stopping users from printing. Maybe it's you know print jobs over ten pages or uh, jobs that had color in them, and you and you didn't want those users to print that those type of documents. Uh, and then you have different administration reports. So we'll kind of go through these uh, 
you know, one at a time here. They're broken down by a summary report and a detailed report. If we click on user summary, um, you do have in here full drill down of the summary as well. Um, and kind of like history, you have you can select your dates, whether it's color, or black and white, and you can run filters on these reports as well. Uh, you can export these reports uh, by many different formats, PDF, Excel, or TF, MHC, HTML, text, CSV, PNG. Uh, you can print your reports as well, and your drill downs are right here. So we can go to, uh, click on this on Administrator, and immediately we'll pull up another report uh, showing the detailed of every print job uh, that Administrator printed. If we click on Show Expanded Details, it gives even more data on those jobs. And here you, you can see it's the date, the printer name, the document name, the user, how many black and white color, total pages, cost. Uh, here it's the job number, the paper size is letter, copies five. Uh, where you see black and white in color, this actually just shows the single job itself. So in this case, the single job was 16 color pages. Uh, but we did also did five copies, so the total pages were 80. Uh, and then it shows you the cost that was used to track that job here. Um, in this case, too, uh, billing was put on it for if you're running client billing. Uh, in this case, it was billable. It was billed to this client. So you'll see that in all reports. Um, in this case, this is a two-page report up here. You can flip through the pages. And here's your total, it was 11 jobs, this many sheets of paper, uh, this many were black and white, this many were color, equals 583 pages. And the pages can be more than the sheets because we do duplex. So if you're doing duplex, we will, the pages we consider the back and the front of the sheet of paper, where the sheet of paper is just the piece of paper. All right, so that's your, your kind of summary and detailed report. And, they pretty much are the same all the way through. Um, once you set a report, you can go up here again and you can click Schedule, and you're going to auto run this once, daily, weekly, monthly, uh, send it to multiple email addresses, or you can just save it to specific shares as well on a server or somewhere on your network. All right. Now, one part of these reports, which is kind of nice, uh, a lot of our customers obviously have very large databases. And when running a detailed report or even a summary report, it can take a while to render the HTML to bring the data up. So under settings here, we added an option. Um, it's called manually load reports, uh, which you can select here. We'll save the changes for that. We'll go back to reports. What this does is now when you bring up your report, you'll notice it's just blank. Um, what's nice about this is you don't have to render the report before scheduling it. So if you have a very large data format, uh, and, and we do have, again, a lot of customers who can print tens of thousands of print jobs a day, much less, you know, it could be hundreds of thousands a month, this would be a good way to just schedule the report to uh, save to a share or, again, email the report. So it builds a report in the background and then sends it off uh, because you don't want to sit here and, and run that report and let it render, you know, it could take quite a few minutes for, uh, you know, we've had reports that are 10,000 pages long, and, and that could take about seven, eight minutes to generate before it pops up on the screen. Uh, so this is one thing to, to use um, when generating very large uh, data sets for your, your reporting. So I'm going to turn this back off so we can see this right away. Obviously, I'm running on a small Active Directory, so uh, these reports come up very quickly. Um, so we'll go through these. Here you have user group reports. Again, summary and detailed. Department reports through uh, Active Directory. Uh, if you're running on a work group, obviously you wouldn't see necessary department reports or OUs because you don't have those in a work group. Um, as we go through it, we get to billing. So this is people that are using premium edition and they're actually billing back clients. A lot of professional services companies like law firms, real estate, architectural. Uh, companies will use this to bill their clients. And here you can run uh, basic client statements, or up here you can run uh, just a client summary. Uh, I think we've done a little printing here, so we'll click on this. And we'll change the date to any time. So 
we can see if any clients have been billed to. And here you'll notice there's three clients have been billed to. Uh, these are reports, again, or details. So you can click it and drill down into the details if you'd like. It's showing you, again, job sheets, what's been billed. Here you'll notice include non-billable jobs. We can turn that off. And you'll notice there's just two clients here who actually should be billed for jobs. Uh, the clients that weren't being billed for disappear off this report, but it does show everything. You can also show a billing breakdown, uh, and this shows you what was non-billable, billable, and then the total for each uh, client. Uh, and, then, and again, this can be exported uh, as a PDF, Excel, etc. These schedules, by the way, you can set up as many of these as you like. So if you wanted to, you could actually just send out a statement or a billing report to your clients remotely uh, to their emails if you'd like. All right, there are many different, obviously, billing options. You have summaries, and these can be broken up by user, page size, printer, groups, uh, large format printing, which is, is obviously a lot of our architectural engineering companies use this. Uh, and this will show you uh, details for uh, the area or square inches uh, and length and height of the actual documents that are being printed. Uh, so definitely, you know, you should look around here and, and, you know, run these reports and see which ones you like the best and then schedule them and you kind of, you know, set it and forget it at that point. You can run your reports uh, automatically in the background. All right, uh, so let's move on here. Here you have workstation reports, which breaks down each workstation that's printing. Uh, then you go down to servers. We have many customers with multiple servers, uh, tying back to one database. Uh, printer reports. Here you can run printer summaries. We'll run this. Here you have all your printers that are printed. Again, same format. And you can drill down on any of these as well. So we'll drill down, say, on this one. And you can see what's been printed. You can show expanded details uh, for the jobs that have been printed to this printer. All right, so we'll keep moving on here. And we'll go down. Here you have, uh, so the printer reports below that, you have printer group reports. If you've grouped your printers in Print Manager Plus, you can run reports just by those groups of printers. That's also nice if you're doing departmental reports and you've grouped it, your printers in each department. You can email or save to a share. Again, uh, their billing breakdown by printer for, the, for their department. Here you have your bandwidth reports, and this basically goes through and shows you uh, how much printing bandwidth has been done. Um, and this is good just to look at your network uh, uptime and, and see what uh, printers are taking up the most amount of uh, bandwidth. And it, it kind of gives you an idea of how big the jobs are uh, and where they're, you know, how much is actually being done with these. It's a very nice report here. And of course, again, you can break this down and just see if you know one printer or one detail is did more than another one. In this case, you can see that you know this job here, 7.1 megabytes, 68 megabytes, etc. All right, so we'll move on here. Uh, we'll go down to graphs. Uh, there's quite a few graphs here. Most active users, most active printers, um, and these are just broken down. They show you a quick graph. Uh, we'll set this again to any time. And you can save, as you go through these reports, remember filters and options. So if I click that, it'll save anything uh, that I've set up here uh, when you go back into the report at a later time. So we'll go ahead and look at this uh, graph here. Oop. Let me pull that back up. And we'll open this up here. And these graphs are obviously made for uh, uh, the pretty simple, pretty straightforward graphs. Nothing special, but all the graphs you can break down, bar, area, line, point, pie, donut, and funnel. So that also gives you a very nice uh, thing you can do here. And, and then you can break this down, total pages, black and white, color, cost, number of jobs, and bandwidth. Uh, so the, the, these graphs are very versatile. So there you go, you can see those. Again, there's many different graphs. So, you know, again, go through these graphs, take a look at them. Uh, they can be very helpful, uh, you know, especially these hourly graphs, uh, hourly printing by day. You can kind of see when everyone prints, 
uh, see where they're printing to, um, uh, and see if you can move stuff around in your network, if you even need a printer in a specific area, or you need to move a printer. And this gives you a really good idea graphically of that. Um, we have some comparison charts uh, for color prints, paper sizes, copy prints. So again, just go through these and check them out. Here's your savings report, which I mentioned earlier. This gives you everything that was deleted. If you have restrictions or rules set and you're trying to save money on printing, this tells you how much money you saved. And again, you can break this down here. Now we get down into these administrative reports. Um, they're pretty straightforward. You can go if you're uh, an organization who is using any kind of quota function. You've quoted your users on how much money they can print or pages. You can go through uh, current user credits, a full user balance history, so you can see what uh, uh, users were given, who gave them the balance, if they've been added, credited, debited, whether it was through a credit card payment or just directly by uh, an administrator who gave them extra balance. Uh, and then each print job they've, they've used. So it gives them a full history of uh, their quota and how they used it. Um, these are very nice user group membership, shows you what groups uh, the users are part of uh, for Print Manager Plus reporting, uh, current budget reports, uh, and a last usage, which is nice too. So the last time the person printed. We get down now into environmental reporting. And again, these are graphs. Um, and they're broken down. We'll select this and, and set any time here. And this graph is uh, created with these statistics down here. And, and they're, they're pulled from different organizations that actually give us, gave us data on how much, what printing you know, is equating in how, much, how many trees you've printed or used. Uh, the amount of CO2 that was pumped out into the environment and the amount of electricity that was used as well. And they all correlate with each other. So these are very nice, uh, these environmental charts are very nice to look at and it gives you a really good idea of what uh, your organization is, uh, how it affects the environment and how much running you're using. All right, so uh, if this is obviously I'm logged in as administrator so I can see all the reports here. Now, if a regular user logs in, uh, all they will see is my printing. And if they log into this web portal, they can run uh, these reports, my printing history, my credit history, hourly printing, daily printing, and most active printers you print to. So users just by themselves have their own reports they can take a look at. Now, if we move over here uh, on the web portal, there is a dashboard here. And here you can see by today, by week, by month, and it's a simple dashboard, it shows you recent activity of print jobs, obviously which would be changing continuously. Here would say when the last job was, how many black and white pages, color pages, and this kind of quickly just breaks down, uh, you know, a nice summary of what you're doing printing-wise on your network. Uh, env environmental impact, and then down here you have your top printers, top users uh, in your printing. And so this is a nice little dashboard, and again, you know, whether you're the administrator, you can log in and see all this data, but then if you're a user, the user can see what he's printed uh, over the network as well, just by himself. So there you have it. That's our, that's our reporting uh, and how you can pull your data and how you can run reports, schedule reports. Uh, you know, you really should go into this area and look at all of the, the benefits and features of this data that we were collecting. There's a lot of metrics that we collect and this is how you can view it graphically or just the data sets by themselves uh, and then send those to the people who need to see them. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, call us uh, at any time and we can walk you through any of this, uh, but it's all pretty straightforward reporting. Thank you for your time.